Coming up next, I've been going through some samples of the collection from Maja Bakali, one of my favorite perfumes, favorite fra uh, niche fragrance houses. And I'm gonna reveal my five favorite from the house right now. This has kind of changed over time, but I've been really working through this. So I wanna tell you what they are and introduce you to some new fragrances that I think you'll find interesting. Stay tuned, it's coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. Joel The Nose. <laughs> um, anyways, hope everyone's doing well out there in YouTube land. This video today, as you saw, is about Majda Bakali, one of my favorite niche houses that I think is a little bit under the radar. You know, first of all, you have the really cool bottles and I'll show you, you know, uh, let's see, for example, this is, even the, the 50 milliliter, but they have 50 and 100 milliliter and they still come in the same shapes and sizes. So really cool stuff. Um, you got this kind of like wood, it's like a faux wood top. Now, I've been talking about Maja Bacali for a long time. Uh, to me, it epitomizes really classic, beautiful French niche perfumery. They just take I think very classic elements that are more, uh, you know, how do I say, modern because they're very modern fragrances, but yet you know that there's an ode to the past, there's a tribute to the past, and I like that. I like when a, when a house can really combine and use some of the, uh, you know, influences from past great perfumes and bring them to the present and update it. I just think this house. It just, everything you smell, when you smell it, it smells like luxury, like high-end French luxury, like a high-end French handbag or Italian handbag or leather. It just exudes that luxurious quality that I think a lot of niche houses are trying to accomplish, but Majda actually does. So let me, I, I've got a bunch of samples here and just you know, a quick reminder. You know, getting samples from brands are is just a really great idea. Um, you know, it's a great way to get introduced to a brand. Maybe you can order a sample set. A lot of times, they do have a sample set you can order, so you're not going out as much money. You're also getting a wide variety. You get to see what the brand is all about, and I just think it's a wonderful idea. So I have a bunch of the samples here that I've been going through really over a couple months and trying to figure out. Okay, what are the five that I really want to talk about? And in no particular order. I'm gonna go, let's see here. I've got them down in front of me here. Hold on one second as I get through. All right, I'm gonna come in and this is, I'll just say number five, but it's, again, it's not necessarily ranked. And this is Tendre es la nuit. Tender is the night. Um, here's the sample you can see, Tender is the night. And let me just open it up so you can see the bottle, the juice. I love the juice colors on this brand. You'll see some wide variety of juice colors here, which is interesting and you'll see as it coming up. But Tenderous, um, what do I like about this one? Let me just kind of hold it up here for you. Again, so you can see it a little bit better. This is a fragrance that, by the way, they do, for a lot of their brands, they do different variations. So they have one that's called Claire, which I assume means clear, and then you have Obscure. Um, and this one was done by Delphine Theory, the perfumer. And this is the one that I am talking about today is the, this is the um, Claire, <laughs> I'm sorry. So this is the Claire, and let me just make sure I have everything here because again, sometimes the writing is small, it's hard to see. So, it's a good thing I double checked because I'm wrong. This is the obscure. The obscure the one is that uh, I particularly like. And so let me just kind of spray it here. Oh, it's got a beautiful ambre kind of seed opening, which I love ambre. It's that musk kind of mallow smell, which is one of my favorites if you've watched my channel much. It's got some spicy pepper. Um, some carrot oil. I put carrot oil in my own fragrances, so it gives it that earthiness. This is a sexy, earthy, 
Oh, just nighttime fragrance that's gonna get you going. Tender's the night, and I like the Claire version too. Um, you know, it's just a little bit different. I like how they, you know, mix it up a little bit. That one um, doesn't have the amber opening. It doesn't have the, the carrot. It's a little bit smoother. The Tender of the Night is just sexier to me. Uh, the Obscure, the Obscure version is just sexy. This is an extremely sexy fragrance. You even get that, uh, some sweetness from benzoine and incense and patchouli. Mm. Leather, just a really, really sexy fragrance. So check out Tendre Es La Nuit Obscure is the one that I recommend uh, most. Now, let's next go to the next fragrance, which is, and I'm sorry if I'm butchering, you know, this is French. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people out there speak French and I'm sorry for butchering the language, but the next one I'm going to talk about here, this would be number four, and this is Je Fais Un Rave. Claire. So this one, they actually do an obscure and a Claire version again. I'm picking on this one, the Claire version, um, and take a look at the juice there. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful color. This is like a light pink color. And at the top, you have some pink pepper, you have some LME, you have rosewood, geranium, there's ginger, there's musk, there's sandalwood. This is a very complicated fragrance. I'm gonna put it on my skin. I'm gonna have a bunch on me today. Um, oh yeah, this one is just, it's, this is energetic. So this is a great, the other fragrance to me is the perfect sexy nighttime date. Uh, Tenderesse La Nuit is a perfect date fragrance, sexy time fragrance, getting intimate fragrance. This to me is a great daytime fragrance. It's lighter, it's fresher, it's got a little pep in its step and it just makes me feel a little bit more energetic. It makes me feel like, okay, I'm gonna tackle the day. Um, again, I try to talk about how fragrances make me feel. I could go through all the notes, but anybody can do that um, and you can read the notes online. I like to talk about fragrances, how they make me feel. So the other one makes me feel sexy. This one makes me feel alive and energetic and ready to take on the day. That is the number two, or I guess technically I'll call it number four. Next, I'm gonna to go to my number three fragrance, and this is the one actually where I have the full bottle myself, and this is Monom S. Rouge. Monom S. Rouge, here's the packet, and because from my main bottle, you can't actually see the color of the juice, here's the juice. This one is a little bit of a lighter, um, almost light amber color fragrance. And just quickly, a couple of the notes that really stick out for me is, um, let's put it right on my skin. This is one of those fragrances that I wear all the time. It's again, personally in my collection, the full bottle, but this is one of my favorite cedar fragrances of all time. Again, I can go through all the notes. There's incense, there's tonka bean, um, but this is to me, one of the most high quality cedar fragrances I've ever smelled. I've owned this for years and I love cedar. It's one of my top, definitely top five fragrance notes. Cedar to me is calming. It is, again, trying to tell you about how it makes me feel. It just, it, it's calming, it's grounding, it's nature. It's just makes me feel content. It makes me feel happy. It puts me in a good mood. That's what this fragrance does. Monomas Rouge, and it's got some spicy kick to it. Um, again, my, my, my name is Rouge, or Monomas Rouge is my name is Red. Help me for those who can translate into French. But it definitely has that kind of flavor and that kind of feel to it. Again, this is a very sexy fragrance. This is a really good, in my opinion, unisex fragrance. So all these are unisex. These are all good for male, men or women, but this one to me really stands out as a great fragrance for both men and women. So that's Monomas Rouge, that was number three. Now let's go to number two, and let's see, what are we gonna pick here? Um, okay, one I've talked about before, uh, and this is, I'm gonna mispronounce it, I always do, Mudahar. Mudahar, and let me hold the, the juice up. You can see this is a very clear juice. So take a look at that. 
This one is the lightest and the clearest, and that completely matches the feel of this fragrance. Um, this is grapefruit, black pepper. It does have cedar, moss, leather. This is a really wonderful, what I would call one of the best freshies that is a complicated freshie. So that grapefruit, you get it right from the beginning, right at, just right out of the box. That grapefruit just, poo, and uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've done a video before when I've been in Osme talking about Mudahar as one of my favorite uh, just freshies and under the radar freshies. This is not one that gets talked about when people talk about freshies, but if you really want a freshie that will give you versatility, allow you to wear it basically whenever you want, any time of the year, any type of occasion, whether it be work, date, you know, meetings, anything you can think of, gym, this is a fragrance that is extremely versatile and it just, yeah, it just makes you feel this one, this one makes you just feel like, how do I put this best into words? It makes you feel alive. It makes you feel like aware of your surroundings. It just heightens my senses, I guess is the best way to describe it. I feel like my senses are lifted up. I feel like I'm, again, more aware of what's of, of just around me and just more conscious that's what this fragrance does. What a wonderful fragrance. What a wonderful freshie it is. If you like freshies, which most people do, you gotta check out Mudahar as one of your fragrances to add to your collection. And so what is gonna lead me with last? Um, hold on a second because I've mixed some things up here. Uh, hold on. All right. Yes. So my last one, which would be, I guess, technically, uh, number one, and I am going to really butcher this. This is Tula Tula. Tula Tula. <laughs> um, one I had never tried before uh, until I had this kind of sample pack and I you know, started to, to wear it. But look at the color on this one. This is, hold up so you guys can see better, is like a light kind of almost bluish green. So all these fragrances here, all their perfumes have different combinations, different colors, which make it unique. But this is one that has, it's leathery, it's like a blonde suede fragrance. Uh, they talk about it that it evokes the poetry of cherry blossom on the edge of the Tagus River. Um, so I, you know, again, this is, all right, let me put it on here. Oh yeah, it's, that cherry blossom is just really, really, sorry, really, really stands out that cherry blossom. So this fragrance absolutely makes me feel like I'm in nature. It makes me feel like I'm out in the woods. I'm experiencing different smells that are coming at me from different angles, especially a cherry tree or a cherry blossom tree. You can, oh, 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 oof. <laughs> And I, and I like that, the, how they describe it sitting by the river. So you can really picture yourself being in nature, exploring, sitting by maybe uh, just a soft moving river where you can hear just the, the water as it kind of hits the rocks and the stones and the woods. And it's just calming, relaxing, and you're sitting there and maybe it's spring or maybe uh, whenever the cherry blossoms are going to be blooming and you can smell them as they kind of slowly cascade down to the ground through the air and you're hearing the water and you're smelling the cherry blossom and yet you've got leather and suede. So this is a really, really unique fragrance. One, again, that I have personally taken a real liking to having smelled it for the first time just a couple months ago. And again, that is, and I'll put all the names, of course, you know, the, they're all below, but Tulai <laughs> Tula, Tulai Tula. And Again, anyone who can help me with pronunciation, that's great, but you know, uh, I don't speak French. All right, there you go. Those are my five favorite fragrances from Majibakali. And uh, what a house, what a treat, what masterpieces. Get your nose on them, try them out. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you already have some of them, what your favorites are in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys soon and I'll be back with another video. Peace, love, and perfume.